Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. It's good to be back. It is good to be back. Um, I'm going to get into the big fight of the week first. Uh, we're going to do a bunch of more fights this week, but we're going to get into Dalton Smith uh, and uh, not William Cepeda, Jose Cepeda, Sean Cepeda. Uh, got some interesting thoughts on this fight. But before we get into it, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blogger, all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you know how to uh, consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The, the odds makers, the Boxing Bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money uh, betting on the sport of boxing. Also, link in the description. Join the Patreon. The Patreon is just $5 a month. The Patreon gets you all the perks, gets you the lock of the week, uh, gets you ask the bookie anything, ask me a handicap breakdown, any single fight, and I will do it for you. Uh, also, uh, the free T-shirt. There's a ton of perks. Just five dollars a month. The link is in the description. Also, join the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, y'all. Let's get into Dalton Smith and Jose Cepeda. Uh, Dalton Smith came up 2019, 2020-ish around there, and he was, you know, the top British prospect. He was Eddie Hearn's prize possession. Um, you know, a lot of people thought when he you know, was 8-0, 10-0, thing like that, he was the number one prospect in the UK. Like, he was the guy. Um, he's kind of quieted a little bit. Uh, Casey Benjamin, Billy Allington took him the distance. Um, especially Benjamin gave him a little trouble. Uh, then he came back. He looked strong in his last outing against Sam Maxwell. But he's never fought a guy at the level of Zepeda. Uh, Zepeda, we're going to find out whether or not he's washed. He may or may not be washed. But this is a fight that a lot of people think is going to be a barn-burning thriller. I, I think it may be a stinker, but we can still make money on make money on stinkers. Um, Dalton Smith, patient. Patient stalker. Big, strong body. Good power. Selective with his shots. Doesn't, doesn't throw a ton, and that's going to be a theme in this. And that's what I'm saying. It might be two guys standing at the distance who aren't master boxers. Um, you know, fainting and not jabbing. You know, it, it, it could be that. When Dalton comes in, he leaves himself wide open. And this is why I, I, I got – Part of me wants to pick Zepeda to win this fight. Like Zepeda can, can time him and catch him because Zepeda's got good power. He gets hit more than I'd like for a guy that doesn't take a lot of chances. He needs to throw more in combination because he's defensively flawed, right? If he throws in combinations with his power, with his strength, he can back you up. He can take your offense, turn it to defense. I want him to throw more, and he doesn't. What he throws is good, though. Good straight right hand, throws hard, just doesn't throw enough. Sharp, precise. Measures distance well, and both guys do this. And a lot of guys, you know, they fight in different ways, but they share a lot of the same skill set. Strong jab sets everything up off of it. He's a pretty fundamentally sound good boxer, good power. Like I said, strong as an ox. This is a major jump up in talent from Sam Maxwell. Like, this is a major jump up in, in talent from Billy Allington. It leaves a big question. He's, you know, two-fisted power, good fighter, good fundamentally sound. It has a little rhythm to him. He's, he's good. You know, fairly decent athlete. William Zepeda, if this is William Zepeda, I'm William Zepeda. I'm, if this is Jose Zepeda, I'm going to keep doing that. William Zepeda fought last week, and I, he's been, Jose Zepeda. If this was the Jose Cepeda that stopped Brand Check, uh, beat Pedraza, uh, almost beat Ramirez, if this is that guy, beat Abner Lopez, stop those guys. If this is this guy, he beats Andy, Do uh, Andy Dalton. Yeah, all right, Dalton Smith. Andy Dalton is a quarterback that played at TCU. If he beats Dalton Smith, I'm, I'm guys, I'm sorry. If Jose Cepeda is the guy uh, that he used to be, he beats Dalton Smith. That's, but he, he he's not. And I, I just, the last two fights I watched were, were him losing every single round to Hitchens and Progray. Every round. 
And you know, two fights, he he maybe won one or two rounds in two fights, and then he had a fight in between, uh, where he dominated an outclassed opponent. He's a southpaw. He doesn't throw a lot. He uses his jab well. Doesn't use his jab enough. He's awkward, orthodox. He throws from a variety of angles. Good power. He can also measure distance well. You getting a trend here? Good chin. Good durability. Good gas tank, which is why I think this is may go the distance. Can make you miss. He says he's like slightly jittery and athletic. He can make you miss. Uh, mostly he's, he's a southpaw who throws from a variety of angles with good powers, with good power, and he can make you miss. That's that's what he is. That's fundamentally who he is. And he's past his prime. He was a really good fighter. I thought at a time that he was, you know, a top two or three guy in the division. That's not the case anymore. Like I said, his last two fights, uh, well, two of his last three fights, he took the one two no fight. Um, but his two big fights, he's lost basically every single round. So, Dalton Smith's not the level of Hitchens. He's not the level of Pro Gray. So, what are the two guys that dominate him? But Tepet is also older as well. So, wh- where do we go with this? I'm struggling with it. Guys, this is not an easy fight to bet. Dalton Smith, minus 285, Jose Tepet. If you really want to make some money on this, bet Tepet, but I'm going to go safe here. Dalton Smith, minus 285. I'm going to split my bet in half, usually. You know, if, if my typical bet's 100 bucks, we're going to split this down the middle. We're going to put 50 on Dalton Smith on the money line, and we're going to put 50 on the over. You know, because this really could – like, this fight could end in four ways. It could end in Dalton Smith by decision. It could end in Williams and Petta by decision. It could end Dalton Smith by stoppage. It could end William uh, Jose Cepeda by stoppage. This is a 50-50 fight, guys. Usually when I say there's a 50-50 fight, go with the guy that's paying you. Dawson Smith's in his hometown. I feel like he's going to get a decision in this fight. He may or may not deserve that decision. It's going to be real close. It's kind of my gut instinct. Like To me, the tiebreaker here is Dawson Smith fighting at home. I think it goes a distance. He's their star. I think Dalton Smith gets the decision. So it's fifty dollars on the Monday night minus twenty five, fifty dollars on over ten and a half. Uh, it's fifty dollars. So the hundred dollar bet there is going to make you about thirty five dollars. Again, basically it's three to one odds, right? In his favor, the over ten and a half hedges in case he loses. Picking Dalton Smith on the money line hedges that in case Dalton Smith knocks him out. The only way we lose here is if Zepeda knocks Dalton Smith out. It's possible, but it's only a one in four shot, right? I, I think there are four things that can equally happen here, and we, we, we make money if any of the three happen. All right, so let me know if what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the Boxing Bookie on all forms of social media. The boxing bookie comes at you every single day, every single major fight, showing you how to bring down the house consistently, make money betting on the sport of boxing. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Also, join the Patreon. The link is in the description. Just five dollars a month. I'll help me make these videos full time. Go full time creating these videos for you guys. Show you how to make money consistently. There's always a bull market somewhere. We're going to show you how to make money. Uh, we make money every single week. Had another really good week last week. Join the Patreon. Get all the perks. Five dollars a month. Link is in the description. It is March nineteenth, twenty twenty four, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. Three D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.